All right, sign of the times. I'm smiling underneath. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're in the store. We're getting ready to go on the trail and getting last minute resupply. So it's an interesting place. They have one way lanes, aisles. We got, we got busted once already. Yeah, yeah we got yelled at because we were going wrong. We were rebels. <laughs> About 839, we're about to head out. Are you fired up? 273 miles to go. Yeah, that's it. We're almost there, basically. Here's our stuff. We gotta make one stop at a post office and then go return this car and get on the trail, figure out how to get the trail. We're fired up, beautiful day. It's gonna be in the mid, probably high 70s today. All right, guys, what is up? Day one, long trails. My man, PT. 273 miles. 273 miles. We've got a couple hundred yards in so far. <laughs> so far, tired. <laughs> so far, I feel, I feel good. I'm fresh so far. Yeah, we got a, a flat road walk to start, but uh, yeah, day one. Uh, we started at 11 a.m. We had to get, get rid of the rental car and get some stuff done and get some resupply. So we got a kind lady to give us a hitch back to the trips. Yeah, the trail does provide. We didn't know how we were gonna get back from the rental car place, so it worked out and uh, we're starting. So we've got, uh, we started in North Adams, little town. We're gonna hike about three miles or so in the state of Massachusetts to the Vermont border on the AT, on the Appalachian Trail, and uh, the start of the Long Trail. So, but the first 100 miles is the Long Trail, but also the Appalachian Trail at the same time. So, and I'll show you that sign when we get there, that'll be the official start, so we have to kind of Donate three miles. Uh, but anyway, beautiful day. It's going to be in the mid to high 70s. And the lows are supposed to be only in the 40s, so not too bad. So Memorial Day, Memorial day weekend. That's about it. Got anything? Perfect sleeping weather for a Florida boy. Yes. <laughs> I'm not used to this good weather. Yeah, yeah. This is more Florida weather. I'm spoiled in San Diego, but I'm loving it. I just, this is, I'd take hot over rain any day. So. Anyway, we'll uh, check you down the trail. All right, so we thought we had three miles to the uh, start of the trail. It's actually 4.1. And I don't know if you guys can appreciate that. It's almost straight up. And there's no dirt, it's all rock. So we've got about 1.6 miles to the start of the trail. But man, we're getting beat up before we even start the trail. But it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Now we can start. <laughs> Woo. 273 more miles to go. Wait, those don't count? <laughs> those oh, yeah. They're so fast. I wonder if they ever get close enough to get together. And the thing about them is they move so fast. They run away quick, huh? They're yeah, like scared. 
Okay, so we're officially starting the long trail. That's the sign. These miles actually count, baby. Yes, we did 4.1 miles of very tough, steep, uh, rocky trail that didn't count. So this counts now. We're on it, baby. Let's do this. It's the white blaze. Doing good. Sweat. Yeah. <laughs> Sweating hard. Shoot. We're not in through hiking shape. Bring a lot. Yeah, not yeah. in through hiking shape. That's no. for sure. Let me tell you, folks, this is a serious trail. Like you know, the AT is, uh, yeah, way steeper, and it's it's steep, but it's really more rough. Like uh, we're hitting a lot of mud, and um, just but it's just the condition of the trail. Like we get a downhill where we think we can cruise, and it's full of rocks, or we get uphill and it's really steep. So. Yeah, it kind of adds up at the end of the day, you know, slows it down for sure. Gnarly. Yeah, yeah, so I'm, I'm getting it handed to me, which is good though. Builds character, right? And new experience from what I'm used to. Building some characters. Yep. Alright, so there's two beavers right there, and there's a third one that I saw, the other one's hanging out back behind them, but this is their beaver dam, it's the first time I've ever seen one, it's pretty incredible actually, I have no idea how they did this, but there's only a little bit of water trickling behind it, yeah, and they're kind of curious, like they, uh, they're not scared of us. to our camp but look down and my very first I'm getting very sentimental and emotional moose poop right first moose poop man say that ten times fast what it's a monumental day it is like I said I'm tearing up but it's really from the stench but yeah all right let's go Hey guys, Marmalade here. Uh, it's late at night. It's like 10 o'clock because uh, of how our day went. Uh, so how it worked out, I hope you enjoyed the video from today. Um, God, it was just so exciting to get on the trail. And then it just literally kicked my booty. And um, I've heard stories about how steep it is, but it's it's a combination. I was telling my hockey partner, PT, that it's, it's a combination of steepness up and down steep but also very rough like full of rocks and just weird angles and loose rocks and leaves and you step on leaves and your ankle turns in with a rock and it's just a really rough trail compared to i guess what i'm spoiled with with uh, the pct and then um a lot of mud which we knew was going to happen so a lot of mud we saw some other through hikers and we've heard there's a bunch out here we just haven't seen a lot yet we've seen a couple but um that's cool so there's people starting early i think a lot of people are going to start this uh, holiday weekend on memorial day weekend um, but anyway, so what we had to do, we thought we had to do three miles, which is the approach trail from uh, North Adams um, up to start where that sign is that I showed you, the start of the official trail on the 
Massachusetts Vermont border. So we had to do three miles in Massachusetts to get to the Vermont border, but it turned out to be 4.1 and oh my God, straight up. And if you saw in the video, full of boulders and just, it took us a long time to do 4.1 miles, like three hours. And so we got up there and uh, so we ended up doing the, um, we thought it was gonna be a 13 mile day for the three miles to approach and then 10 miles to um, the shelter. Ended up being 4.1 and then getting to the sign then we did 10 more miles. But we started at 11 because, um, um, we had a rental car we had to return. We had to get uh, finished off our resupply, make sure we had enough. We actually um, brought uh, like duffel bags for our backpacks when we flew, and so we mailed those to the end to the um, to the post office at the end, so we'd have them, so we could put them, our packs back in and fly home. So we did that, and and oh, and then we I had to drop the uh, rental car off in a town I can't remember the name of it, but like a half hour over. And then we were gonna uh, either Uber or take a taxi and just get back. We had to come back 22 miles back. And just being nice to the, the girl, we just said, hey, if you, you wanna make some money, we'll pay you. So we paid her cash and she drove us back to the trailhead to start. So it all works out. I mean, the trail provides. So um, don't mean to ramble, but I'm really, really tired. And uh, we're not in through hiking shape yet. So we, we both agree, but uh, we had a really good day. Um, it was really rough, um, but I made it. So we did 14.1 and then, uh, we're still just trying to decide how far to go tomorrow, but I'll let you know tomorrow. So anyway, thanks for watching. So that's about it. We'll see you down the trail. See you tomorrow.